All right, today we're gonna show a stimulation on transverse wave and the concept of transverse wave. Uh, there's the y-axis and the x-axis on the table right here, you can see. On the y-axis, we have the direction of oscillation of the wave and on the x-axis, we have the direction of wave propagation. Uh, it's also the direction of the where the wave energy is traveling. And here we have some simple equations of a wave that uh, we will experiment with to see like how it interacts with each other. Here we have the frequency of the wave equals to 1 over time. And this is the speed of the wave equals to frequency times lambda, which is the wavelength of the wave. So let's just start simple. So that is the transverse wave. You can see that the energy, uh, no, the oscillation is per perpendicular to the direction of where the wave is traveling. So let's do it again. See, the wave travels this way, but the oscillation is like this. So just now I only did um, one wave. So now let's try to make it continuous. Right now, I'm, I'm doing a low frequency wave, so the velocity of is also low. But the wavelength is very big because we can see from here, um, wavelength is inversely proportional to the frequency of the wave. So, what if we increase the frequency a bit? You can see not only the speed of the wave has increased,